we see making his way to the UCL cage, Matt Jean Carlo, five feet seven with a record of five and one, representing and trains with Gilbert Grappling along with spending some time out with Team Quest, training and learning under the tutelage of Chael Sonnen, Matt Lindlin, and the host of others up in the Northwest, Elias. Yeah, pretty cool. You know, I actually uh, follow Matt on Facebook, and all this time while Chael Sonnen has been filming the Ultimate Fighter Brazil, apparently he's been calling up Matt and giving him updates, so we've all been privy to that thanks to Matt. Like you said, two years out of the ring, seems like he's got a lot built up, see what he can do in here this tonight. Matt's always had a lot of talent, really. He, he spent a some of his high school career over at Marist, I believe, if I stand to be corrected, as a wrestler, and then bumping up to 35 and now fighting in the featherweight division for this fight. But Matt is very talented inside the cage, has you know terrific hands, quick hands, and also has a strong wrestling background, especially coming from Gilbert Grappling. Yeah, you would think so. Those guys, you know, this isn't a backhanded compliment. They do one thing very well, and that's wrestle well and, well and be strong and they go hard out there so yeah you would imagine that he should be able to he, you know moment of man he looks in good shape hopefully he's picked up some new things and, and sharpened that sword in his time off well in talking with matt he told me earlier today that he could not wait to get back inside the cage he has just a lot of excitement he's thrilled especially fighting here at the hammond civic center i can recollect matt following and, and working with you know the, the likes of Mike Davis and other, you know, events here at the Hammond Civic Center from a backstage perspective, and I know that it means a lot for him to be stepping inside the cage. Here we go, though, matching Carlo wearing the black and red, wearing the black and blue is Mike Dombrowski, as here we go, three rounds in the featherweight division, the referee in charge, Rob Madrigal. That looks really comfortable on his feet so far, Elias. It sure does. And there's a right hand that backs up Mike Dombrowski, and immediately Gene Carlo him. going for a guillotine choke, like front headlock guillotine choke, a variation of that. Now he's looking for that right leg of Dombrowski. Now he has the back. He's gonna load here with punches, as long as he keeps his hips, or his opponent's hips. I think it's evident right now, Elias, that Dombrowski cannot handle the power and the force of Matt Gene Carlo. I think you're right. Matt's in great shape, he looks much stronger. Looks like Matt can go 15 rounds, to be honest with he you. Does. He's a strong kid. Now oh, he, both hooks in. Oh, now one again. He's looking. He could be setting up a twister there. Dombrowski right now playing defense, but defense can only get you so far as Giancarlo in total control so far. Yeah, Mike's got to protect his neck and get that hook free. It's a tough spot to be in with a big strong dude on you. The rear naked choke is in. Dombrowski's in some trouble. Giancarlo cranking on the rear naked choke attempt. Now it seems to be in. We can't really tell from our vantage point, but it appears as if it is in. Madrigal, the referee in charge, checking on it. Now he lets it go. Does Giancarlo, nice job by Dombrowski to evade the rear naked choke attempt. Tough guy, he's not going out without a fight, that's for sure. Now in the guard is Matt Giancarlo. Dombrowski known as a stand-up striker, not necessarily having the ground game background of one Matt Giancarlo. Well, he's not doing anything to protect his arms, control the posture, or get a guard back. Oh, that's Americana. It's in. It's done. The Americana is in, and the tap is there shortly after as Matt Giancarlo shakes off whatever rust he had. It didn't even look like he had any rust. Getting the victory here tonight, improving to 6-1. Ray is heading back to announce the winner. We got two wins for Gilbert Grappling. Both guys looked like they knew exactly what, what they wanted to do out there. Matt was definitely the stronger guy. He's able to impose his will. Also able to go to second and third options for the finish. Looked for a choke from the back. Looked for it for a second like he was maybe going to go for a twister. He had one hook in. Trying to scoot Mike's arm behind him on his own shoulder. Went for the choke again. Got out. Got the Americana shoulder lock for the finish.